This was the first time that the three renewables were all included in a, a, a microgrid. You might get two, but it had never been done with three before. Before we had egg electric, most people had generators, which were only switched on at night. It was just a whole new world, really, because a, I was able to buy a washing machine and just the fact we had 24 hour power all the time. We often get between 95 and 97 percent. The largest is, is the hydro. It's up to 100 kilowatts. When we have enough water and that's running, everything runs fine. We have six small wind turbines and then we also have the, the PVs, the photovoltaic cells, for the energy from the sun. For a system like Egoelectric to work, it needs um, the community to support it, really. Uh, they need to be willing to run their systems, being aware of the limitations. People can use uh, a maximum of five kilowatts at a time. Boiling a kettle uses roughly three kilowatts of electricity, as does uh, putting on a washing machine. We all have different jobs. It's very much a part-time thing. You don't have to be an engineer. You have to be enthused by it and want to learn. That trip to Egg just happened in the nick of time uh, when we were trying to find ourselves, find our feet. We learned that the community engagement is quite paramount in this type of projects. This enabled them to understand that there is this energy situation that they have and then we are bringing in renewable energy, electricity, and then we take them uh, on a learning journey to another mini grid elsewhere so that they appreciate that uh, they will be required to buy the electricity. And then we trained about 30 youth in the community. Inside the uh, household, uh, all the wiring, all the operation and the maintenance are done by these uh, 30 youth as part of their you know, income generating activities. In past, I wasn't able to work even at night, but as for now, I'm working day and night. The income increasing. There are now two maize mules. I think this is the most important thing. Previously, they used to trek about 18 kilometers just to access milling services. I think one of them is careful use of electricity. For people in egg, we don't dream of leaving anything on standby or of wasting their use of electricity anyway. <laughs>